Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms, bringing you all the exciting action of the Jaguar Football Program. It's brought to you by Coca-Cola, Louisiana Lottery, Cox Communications, Baton Rouge Metropolitan Airport, Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Louisiana, the Communities of Color Network for a tobacco-free Louisiana, McLean Financial Group, and Jerry Lane, Buick, and GMC. the Jaguar football show where we come to you each Monday night about 7 o'clock from 8342 Perkins Road at Le Bolton Bar and Grill, the Good Times Bar and Grill. Come on out, join Coach and I for some good food, some good libation, and some good conversation about Southern University Jaguar football. This past weekend, we took a long trip to Itabina, Mississippi, and Coach and the Jaguars came away with a 17-7 victory to put us at 2-0 in the SWAC. Congratulations, Coach, on being 2-0. Thank you. Coach, you almost pitched a shutout, but they scored a little late in the game, but it really was an ugly game. Well, yeah, you know, we really, I mean, it really depends on how you was looking at it. Offensive, I think fans might have been expecting a little bit more, but every week you're going to have some adjustments and you got to do some things differently because every team is going to play you a lot different and Valley defense plays as well. Well, I tell you what, looks like your offense got on track last week scoring over 60 points, but this week 17 was enough and sometimes that's all that counts. Well, you know, the bottom line is when you go on the road, you only try to win football games and how you win them, you know, sometimes is, is unclear. But, you know, the good thing about it, I think we got out of there you know, with no major injuries and we accomplished the goal that was in front of us was to win the football game. Coach, some new names stepped up for us on defense. Uh, DeAndre Woodland uh, had a really, really good game. Also, um, Deontay McDuffie had a good game. That's positive, especially with guys like Virgil Williams and Daniel Brown going down. Exactly. You know, we've been trying to get Deontay McDuffie on the field. We finally got him out there with a week's preparation, and he's an exciting young man. He really uh, will hit players and he loves to play the game of football. And Woodland's been steady for us, stepped in, filled in for Virgil, and we didn't miss a beat. You know, those are the kind of guys that we have. We just try to focus on playing the next play and getting whatever guys we have available ready to go. Well, without any further ado, we're going to jump into highlights from the Southern University Mississippi Valley game at Itabina, Mississippi. And the first uh, thing you'll see is a sack by Woods. Coach, your defense looked like they came to play. Well, yeah, we finally got all the pieces of the puzzles there together. Great play by Anthony Ballas here right there. Just, just being able to have those guys on the field and, and playing the kind of football we know they can play with that side. That was a good play by Balancier and uh, DeAndre Willen, young man we just talked about, came up with the ball. Coach, uh, you really, really, really were at 0-0 for a long time, and it seemed like um, anything could happen. Of course, right here you're looking at a, a botched fake field goal where that name again, um, McDuffie came in and made a hell of a play, Coach. Well, exactly. You know, it's just great to see those guys competing and, and really understanding that it's a tight ball game. You know, mistakes is what's going to cost you. And I'm well glad our guys eliminated the mistakes and we were able to pull away with a victory. There you saw Dre Joseph hit Nico Talbot for 55. Valley gets the ball back. Uh, Allen makes a play for a five-yard loss. And then uh, another good stop by the Jaguars. Coach, for a while there, it was... A couple of good plays, then punt, 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 and a couple of good turnovers, and it kept us at 0-0 for a long time in that first half, as you see them miss wide left right there. Well, you know, they had some opportunities, um, but, you know, we played, we played much better on defense, and last week, you know, our offense uh, bailed us out of holes, and this week our defense kept the game close until our offense was able to make plays, and there's a big play right there. Right. You saw Tillery run for 11, then come, Dre comes back and hits Quinn for 43. Coach, that is why you play through the whistle. That kid kept the play going, got a 43-yard game. The Jaguars come back with a good field goal by Pittman, and we go up 3-0. Uh, Balancier and McDuffie, another good defensive play, Coach. Well, exactly. They were flying around, really uh, playing fast to the football. And it's just exciting to see those guys. 
Balance here. Happy to be back in action, Coach. Excited to have him back. Good. When we come back, we'll look at the second half highlights from the Southern University Mississippi Valley game. Stay with us on the Jaguar Football Show. Want to get here? It's totally awesome. How about here? Wow. Well, it all starts with a black and gold Saints scratch off from the lottery. Win up to $100,000. Enter our second chance drawings and you could win a 2013 Saints game day prize package, autographed Saints merchandise, or the fan experience of a lifetime. It's just unbelievable. I'll never forget it. Show your true colors with the black and gold Saints scratch off from the lottery. is football, and you're looking at football's biggest fan. I sit close to the TV just so I can join the huddle. I know 38 mascots on a first-name basis, and I never miss a touchdown. Ready for football? Cox has over 700 pro and college games this season, and more games than ever before online and on your mobile device. Score 50% off NFL Red Zone when you bundle. I refuse to eat turnovers. Cox is football! When you fly with Baton Rouge Metro Airport, you'll see how we've been working hard to make things easier for you. Like the closest parking of any airport in its class, faster check-in, friendly, easygoing people to help you on your way, shorter security lines, quality shops and vending, and a team committed to safe and efficient operations so you can get back to what matters most to you. The next time you travel, keep it simple. Baton Rouge Metropolitan Airport. Fly easy. A new dawn in Southern Athletics approaches. One measured by the relentless pursuit of academic excellence and athletic glory. There is just one thing missing from our Jaguar Jamboree. You. A Southern rebirth is firmly taking shape on the bluffs of the Mississippi. But to propel the Jaguar Nation to new heights, we need you. Because Southern deserves a, a nation, nation united. united. Jumping back into the uh, Valley game last year, the Mississippi Valley game cost Coach Stump Mitchell his job. Was revenge a part of the conversation with you and your staff and the players this year as y'all prep for Valley? No, nah, really all we talked about was that the last time we played this football team, you know, they shut us out on national TV and, you know, you guys that were here, we getting a chance to go up there and play in front of them and get a chance to win a football game. And that's basically all the conversation we had. Is that right? That's it. Okay. Coach. 3-0 lead at halftime. What do you tell your kids as you come out for the second half? Well, you know, for the first time, you know, in the football game this season, we've been ahead at halftime. So we just try to find the positives and build on them and correct some of the mistakes that we, we're making and, and just move forward. You know, I told them if we go out and do the things that we talked about doing as a football team, if the score stay well set, then we'll, we'll walk away with the W. In the second half, folks, you'll see Dre Joseph and Leonard Leonard Tillery pick up the pace for the Jaguars. But Lee Doss, 10 catches, 164 yards, a touchdown. Coach, is that what senior leadership is all about? Well, not only senior leadership, but playmaking ability, and he has that. Well, there you go. As we jump into highlights, I think Willie Quinn catches one. Tillery runs for 13, and you get Quinn for seven. Unfortunately, we fumble and give the ball back. The defense steps up, got a good play here, and uh, of course Cook comes up and makes a good uh, play. And then this botched uh, punt was a good hit on the returner coach, but unfortunately we didn't get the ball back. Valley gets the ball, moves it a little bit, but your defense stands stout, coach. You got to be proud of the way your defense played. A couple of times they were deep in the red zone and could not get any points. 
boy, they just played together, you know, and that's just, you can see the effort of the young man in which they putting in there. There's a missed interception opportunity, but guys were in position and, and they finally made some plays. That was Omar Cook on the uh, missed interception. Here's Dre hitting um, Doss. Coach, do you think Doss has the ability to go to the league? Well, yeah, no, most definitely. You know, when you look at him, that's a great catch and balance right there. He's just an exciting receiver that really competes at a high level the whole time he's out there. Lee Dawes for a 65-yard catch, and then Leonard Tillery. Coach, how, how good is it to have a kid like Tillery who you can depend on for some, some serious ground game? Well, it's just great vision, you know, got, he's getting better. You know, you know, he missed a lot of count time, so he's slowly getting back to the level we know he can play at, just getting better with his protections, and we know he'll be the complete running back. Coach, here you have a good play with uh, good coverage by Bethancourt. How important is special teams to the success of the Jaguars? Well, we really believe we spend as much time on special teams uh, probably more than anybody in our conference, and it's just exciting to see those guys execute. Another good play by Allen, and then uh, that name Cook comes up again as he gets a good interception. Coach, this young man is giving you some good, good time. Well, he's a smart kid and really understands our defense, and you're talking about a guy who puts the time in, a senior safety that's, that's really getting the rewards from all his hard work. Tillery gashes him for 14, then Dre hits his favorite receiver, Lee Doss, for a 60-yard home run. At this point, the score is 17-0 as Pittman converts to PAT, and you had to be feeling pretty good about where you were in the game, Coach, with about eight minutes to play. Yeah, you know, we called them up in the fourth quarter and told them that, you know, let's go finish the football game. Whatever adversity comes in, we're going to make sure that we do what we got to do to close out the football game. What happened on this play, Coach, with Willie messing around and that ball touching them and we giving them the ball deep to where they actually, you would have had a shutout if that wouldn't happen. Uh, what happened to th th that, that ball right there? Willie was just thinking that he could get it and scoop it and run it? Well, he just got too close with that being the point in the game. He should have just got away from it and then Willie just took over on offense. But the ball touched him uh, and they recovered it. You see a couple of good runs by Favorite. Uh, he, had, he gave you some good minutes, Coach. Unfortunately, here we are, a, a botched punt. Um, but I really was pleased with what favor I give you on the time he had, Coach. Well, it's just good to see the freshman bounce back from early, uh, early season fumbles. But, you know, his confidence is back where it needs to be. We look forward to him running the ball down the stretch. Well, there you have it. 17-7. The Jaguars go 2-0 in the SWAC. When we come back, we'll talk about our Cox Players of the Week and ask, uh, uh, have an interview with uh, one of the players, Deontay McDuffie. Stay with us on the Jaguar Football Show. Smoking and tobacco use damages nearly every organ in your body. Don't you think you deserve more than heart disease, lung disease, cancer? Stay away from the toxic chemicals of tobacco and smoking. Tobacco smoke hurts anyone who breathes it, including family and friends. Communities of Color Network supports a tobacco-free Louisiana. To gain financial success, the first step is getting in the game with planning your retirement. With so much uncertainty in the financial world, it's crucial to have someone on your team that understands your financial goals and can navigate you to obtaining your dream to financial freedom. McLean Financial Group advises in many areas. We pride ourselves on strategic financial planning and serving our clients, a great combination to obtain financial freedom. Get in the game and let McLean Financial Group design your customized financial playbook and quarterback you to financial independence. Healthcare reform is bringing change, but one thing that won't change is our commitment to you. We're Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Louisiana. We're a not-for-profit company, and we work for you. And whatever changes come our way, you can count on us. Count on us to pay your claims. To answer your questions. To give you the service you deserve. You can count on us to be there when you need us. That's our promise to you. To get more answers on healthcare reform, visit us at bcbsla.com slash healthcare reform. Jerry Lane, they rolled the red carpet out for me. It's always been Jerry. Jerry Lane. 
You know what? It's tradition. It's family. And that's what keeps us coming back to Jerry Lane. Get the line, get the line. Welcome back to the Jaguar Football Show, where we come to you each week from Le Bon Ton Bar and Grill, located at 8342 Perkins Road. Of course, we invite you to come out and hang out with me and Coach and ask some questions of the coach after the shooting of the show. Coach, the Cox Players of the Week, who are your offensive, defensive, and special teams players of the week? Well, offensively, it's uh, Lee Doss, who I think had probably another spectacular football game. Uh, over 10 catch, right at 10 catches, and you know, just done a phenomenal job defensively. Uh, Deontay McDuffie, who's a guy that really has done uh, some spectacular things since he's gotten back to playing. And special teams, uh, he set the tone right there at the beginning of the game with a big hit, uh, Demetrius Carter. Well, Joe. Dupree caught up with Deontay McDuffie, who had a really good game for Jaguars, and filed this report after the victory over the Delta Devils. Joe, take it away. That's right, Todd. We're here with Deontay McDuffie, who had come to us via Shreveport, now transferred from South Alabama, red shirt, sophomore, if I'm correct, yes, safety, doing this thing out here with the Jaguar Nation. First of all, how does it feel after you got transferred from South Alabama to be here, part of the Jaguar Nation? It feels good to be here, part of the Jaguar Nation. I know I came right in this spring, just got it on with all the players, just feel like I was, everybody got along as one big family. We're here at Rice Titan Stadium where the Jaguars just came across with a great defensive stand, victorious, 17 to 7. You are a part of that. Seven tackles. You also did some great plays on defense and long pass plays from the uh, Devils. Is the Jaguar defense, the dog day defense, back to stay? Well, we work hard every day, so I mean, we will we'll know to the end of the season when we reach our goal. Let's think about this again. Southern, 2-0 and in SWAC, undefeated. We're getting ready to go into the teeth of the SWAC. Are we ready to be the Big Cats? Yes, sir, we're ready. We prepare hard every day for our next opponent. So we got another week ahead of us to work hard and get better and get ready for the, uh, our next opponent. Jackson State is next. We're going to be back on the bluff. You keep it locked right here to the Jaguar Football Show. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Deontay. And we're looking for more good things out of Deontay McDuffie, coach, as the season progresses. Coach Dre Joseph, 288 yards. Leonard Tillery, 56 yards on the ground. We talked about Dre, uh, I mean, Lee Doss's numbers already. But what's it going to take to get your offense jump started sooner? And what's it going to take to get your offense going north and south versus east and west? Well, I mean, I really just, it, it depends on the defensive game plans. You know, you got to be able to take what teams are giving you and you know, we have to come up with schemes and try to attack them. And then when it's not working, you got to go to plan B. They're, they're doubling receivers. They're, turking, they're taking certain guys away. But, you know, we'll be all right. We'll be fine. It's just a tough environment to go to Valley. If you look at it, the success of that game, they've always played us tough. So we knew it was going to be a grind. And, you know, everything else is just about getting guys to understand that we got to execute. And then if they do what they're supposed to, then everything else will take care of itself. Coach, a couple of key turnovers uh, were probably the difference in the game for us, but we also gave away a couple of key turnovers uh, during the course of this game. Uh, talk about the difference in turn what turnovers and those small plays make in the game. Well, we always focus on three areas when we talk about, you know, what it takes for us to win football games. Uh, we talk about turnovers. We got to win the turnover battle. Uh, we talk about penalties, you know, I really think discipline and undiscipline show up in football programs when you look at penalties. And then, you know, we talk about effort, you know, you got to have a winning effort. And I just believe if you do those three things, at the end of the day, you'll look up and see that you'll have a chance in the fourth quarter to win those football games. Well, there you have it, the keys to success from Coach Dawson Odoms. When we come back, we'll have the Jaguar question of the week and talk about our next opponent, our vaunted rival, the Jackson State Tigers. Stay with us on the Jaguar Football Show. You want to get here? It's totally awesome. How about here? Wow. 
Well, it all starts with a black and gold Saints scratch-off from the lottery. Win up to $100,000. Enter our second chance drawings and you could win a 2013 Saints game day prize package, autographed Saints merchandise, or the fan experience of a lifetime. It's just unbelievable. I'll never forget it. Show your true colors with the black and gold Saints scratch-off from the lottery. is football, and you're looking at football's biggest fan. I sit close to the TV just so I can join the huddle. I know 38 mascots on a first-name basis, and I never miss a touchdown. Ready for football? Cox has over 700 pro and college games this season, and more games than ever before online and on your mobile device. Score 50% off NFL Red Zone when you bundle. I refuse to eat turnovers. Cox is football! When you fly with Baton Rouge Metro Airport, you'll see how we've been working hard to make things easier for you. Like the closest parking of any airport in its class, faster check-in, friendly, easygoing people to help you on your way, shorter security lines, quality shops and vending, and a team committed to safe and efficient operations so you can get back to what matters most to you. The next time you travel, keep it simple. Baton Rouge Metropolitan Airport. Fly easy. A new dawn in Southern Athletics approaches. One measured by the relentless pursuit of academic excellence and athletic glory. There's just one thing missing from our Jaguar Jamboree. You. A Southern rebirth is firmly taking shape on the bluffs of the Mississippi. But to propel the Jaguar Nation to new heights, we need you. Because Southern deserves a, a nation, nation united. united. Welcome back to the Jaguar football show. We have gotten with the social media craze coach and we have a Facebook page, the Jaguar football show that we want everybody to go to. Check out the Jaguar football show and keep up with Coach Dawson Odoms and what's going on with the Jaguars. And each week you can submit a question to ask Coach Odoms. And if you, your question is, is submitted and chosen, you will win two tickets to the next selling football game. This week, Coach, our question comes from Arthur Dubrell. And Arthur asks you, Coach, what are your thoughts on some of your top skill players being walk-ons? And he named Lee Doss and Lenard Tillery specifically. Has that changed your recruiting outlook on local players in Baton Rouge and the surrounding area? Well, you know, I think people come to Southern University, whether they're scholarship players or walk-ons, uh, knowing that they go get an opportunity to get a great education and, and play for an exciting football program. And I think that's what all recruits are looking forward to. So, you know, I'm excited about those young men that are walk-ons and, you know, we reward walk-ons. Uh, we reward them scholarship money and, you know, we thank them for giving the opportunity to walk on the, into our football program. And, you know, we just give them an opportunity to say thank you and we reward them guys by giving them scholarship money. That's our way of saying thank you back. There you go. Coach J State, they come in 2-2. Two and two. They're 2-0 two and oh in the swag. So one of the big cats is going to be 2-1 and one at the end of this Saturday. What does Jackson State like to do offensively? Offensively and defensively, coach? Well, offensively, you know, I think they're still searching for an identity. You look at three different football games and you see three different game plans, but you know, just looking at it, you think they want to throw the ball around sometimes, and you know, they get in two backs and try to run the football too. So, a big offensive line, you know, we look forward to the opportunity and the challenge of stopping their running game. And defensively, they, they multiple, they play about like us. They get in some stacks, some some three three five and some four two five, and try to match your personnel and figure out what's going great that day and stick with it. Coach, I believe the SU J State game is the best pure HBCU football experience in all of HBCU football. How, how do you feel about this game? I mean, do you think it's bigger game than the Grambling game as far as just football? No pomp, no circumstance, no classic, just football and fans. 
Well, you know, I think it's the biggest game on our schedule right now, you know, because of where it's at on our schedule. But having been here for a couple years and being able to be in the environment, you know, just being at J State and being at home, you know, I really think that the atmosphere is so electric, you know, because the fans are right there, uh, the stadiums are like right there close. So, you know, you get a chance to get that electrifying atmosphere and it's exciting to be in that J State game. When we come back, we'll wrap up this week of the Jaguar football show. Come back with us. Did you know smoking and tobacco use damages nearly every organ in your body? Don't you think you deserve more than heart disease, lung disease, cancer? Stay away from the toxic chemicals of tobacco and smoking. Tobacco smoke hurts anyone who breathes it, including family and friends. Communities of Color Network supports a tobacco-free Louisiana. To gain financial success, the first step is getting in the game with planning your retirement. With so much uncertainty in the financial world, it's crucial to have someone on your team that understands your financial goals and can navigate you to obtaining your dream to financial freedom. McLean Financial Group advises in many areas. We pride ourselves on strategic financial planning and serving our clients, a great combination to obtain financial freedom. Get in the game and let McLean Financial Group design your customized financial playbook and quarterback you to financial independence. Healthcare reform is bringing change, but one thing that won't change is our commitment to you. We're Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Louisiana. We're a not-for-profit company, and we work for you. And whatever changes come our way, you can count on us. Count on us to pay your claims. To answer your questions. To give you the service you deserve. You can count on us to be there when you need us. That's our promise to you. To get more answers on healthcare reform, visit us at bcbsla.com slash healthcare reform. You can count on Jerry Lane. At Jerry Lane, they rolled the red carpet out for me. It's always been Jerry. Jerry Lane. You know what? It's tradition. It's family. And that's what keeps us coming back to Jerry Lane. Get the lane, get the lane. Welcome back to the Jaguar football show. Jaguar fans, of course, this week is the Big J State game, and the Southern University Football Alumni Association, along with the Southern Athletics Department, is having a big bonfire pep rally to get everybody together on Thursday night. I think it's between the ROTC building and the museum on the bluff. So if you can, get out there, support them, and of course, as we always say, Coach, when we wrap up every show, Go, go Jags! Jags! And get out there on the bluff this weekend.